Once upon a time, a real human corpse was found in an amusement park attraction. What's really strange is that corpse died 60 years before it was found. But before we get into that, you know what we have to do. We have to serve the album. Give this video a like, subscribe for more true crime, weird history, haunted, paranormal. There's hundreds of episodes of the podcast I co-host Ghost Town waiting for you in the description below. So we're back in Southern California. We're back in the greater Los Angeles area, and we're at the Pike Amusement Park in Long Beach. I spent a good part of my time down in the Pike and on the beach. And for a kid, this was really great. The Pike Amusement Park in Long Beach, California goes all the way back to 1902, and it's been memorialized in TV shows going back as far as Laurel and Hardy and almost every television show up into the 1970s. We're going to focus on December 8th, 1976. There was a show back in the 70s called The Six Million Dollar Man, back when I was barely 53 years old. And they were filming an episode, the episode was Carnival of Spies, at the Pike Amusement Park. And it involved a ride called Laugh in the Dark. I don't know why it's called Laugh in the Dark. The 70s were weird. But it's kind of a haunted ride. You're riding around a little trolley and things are jumping out at you. And while the production crew were setting up for this, there was you know, mannequins and mummies covered in toilet paper, probably very minimal budget. Somebody from the production crew realized when they were trying to move one of these mannequins that it was not a mannequin. He was like, this feels like an actual person. And one of the pieces of the mannequin broke off and he could see that inside you mummified bone, tendons, whatever, whatever you find in a mummified corpse. So what was the identity of this corpse and how did it get there? Great questions. So it was found to be an outlaw, Elmer McCurdy, who died in 1911. Elmer McCurdy robbed the train near Okessa, Oklahoma, and then got his $46 and two jugs of whiskey, and then holed up around the Kansas border. Police found him, killed him in a shootout, and then he was dead. So then McCurdy's body was taken to Paul Huska and nobody claimed the body. So the funeral home and embalmer embalmed it and then turned it into a tourist attraction. So he would allow people to come and view Elmer McCurdy and you had to put a nickel in his mouth, in his real embalmed mouth. I mean, I know with the internet, you can find so much weird stuff and people are interested in weird things, but 1911 was crazy. That was fun. Putting a nickel in a corpse's mouth. Like that's fun for the whole family. That's not like, oh, you're weird uncle. It's your weird everyone. So then for the better part of 60 years, this corpse made its way to other carnivals, sideshows. It became this prop that was bought and sold. And then it made its way to the Pike in Long Beach in 1976 on the set of The Six Million Dollar Man. So Elmer McCurdy led a very interesting life before he died, and it got even more interesting after he died. I mean, he really made the rounds. But finally, Elmer McCurdy was laid to rest in Guthrie, Oklahoma. And here's what his tombstone read. Elmer McCurdy shot by Sheriff's Posse in Osage Hills on October 7th, 1911, returned to Guthrie, Oklahoma from Los Angeles County, California, for burial, April 22nd, 1977. I mean, that's a pretty rock and roll tombstone inscription. So if you want to watch some more true crime or weird history, check out some of these videos, and you can strap in for your own ride on Laugh in the Dark.